Today on Dead Dodge Garage, it's the 10,000-ish subscriber special. So, say goodbye to all of this. Man, this place is a mess. It's also hot. I don't really know what the 10,000-ish subscriber special is supposed to be. I promised to cut my hair and beard off. All right, we'll get there. What do I do first? I can say thank you, I suppose. If you're one of the nearly 11,000 people who subscribe to me, I really appreciate that. You're not supporting some faceless corporation. You're supporting little old me. That's awesome. Really, there's a whole lot more than that I could say. I mean, in the comments on my latest video, which came out this morning, the 1976 Barrel Roadrunner Revival, at least three or four people have said that I am their favorite or among their favorite YouTubers, or like, this is the best channel. I don't even know what to do with that information, so thank you for that. Um, I'm flattered. One of those commenters described my channel as a pretense-free zone, and I really like that. In fact, I'm considering having that framed. <sighs> You can expect useful information, technical information relating specifically to classic Mopars, and a little bit of entertainment, maybe fun, but only if you appreciate my unique sense of humor. Otherwise, it might not be fun. You can expect what you see to be real, genuine, and delivered by an actual car lover. That's what I am. I'm not one of them fancy internet influencers. And I'm not here to sell you anything but myself and some of my merch, you know. That would be nice. I think my view of these cars and how they should be is kind of unique. Some people seem to like it, including Uncle Tony, it turns out. Over the weekend, I watched a couple of videos on a channel called Dead Dodge Garage. I really like this channel. The, the guy He's, he's articulate, he's intelligent, he's experienced. Everything you want from a YouTuber. And thanks for that, by the way. Oh, it's, it's heavier than it looks. Oh. What the heck was that? I think the way I approach making these videos is somewhat unique. Despite all the people telling me I'm just trying to be Derek from Vice Grip Garage, I don't think that's true, but they're gonna keep saying it anyway. I'm here to have fun and help you fix your garbage. That's it. I can hear your comments now. Well, that's all well and good, Jamie, but it doesn't feel very 10,000 subscribers specially to me. Fair enough. Um, we could try burnouts, you know in a car with an engine that I built in my shed. Don't mind the ticking, that's part of the experience. All right, now we're talking. This is seeming more almost 11,000 subscribers specially. We could throw some rocks around with a slant six. Man, this thing's nothing but reliable. That was just pathetic. I guess that's not one of its superpowers. How about a 50 year old pickup truck? Wow. That's even more reliable than the slant. All right, that's it. We gotta bring out the big guns. Okay, well, that's not good. <sighs> you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. Please do it. Man, some almost 11,000 subscriber special this is. Okay. Well, we let all that extra gas evaporate so I can hopefully get this thing out of the middle of the driveway. I guess I could take a minute to tell you about all the projects I've got going on right now. And there are a lot. I mean, this one, obviously. In case you've ever wondered, gasoline does not make a good coffee creamer. But, um, well, there's that. 
The broken crank 318 is exactly where I left it at the end of that video. That's bad. But I did put together the world's hackiest 318 rebuild. Oh man, the internet critics are gonna love this one. Problem child's still here, but I did work on it. That's a video that's coming soon. Forever Studebaker, still here, much more complete, and it almost ran yesterday. Oh, okay. The Toolbox 73 Charger's starting to look like a whole car. My 68, um, needs a few things. Ah. It's because I drifted it in a field while eating a corn dog, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about it. Bill's Coronet is still here, but probably won't be for long. The 48 Power Wagon, subject of several of my early videos, still here. Still not done, but looking more like a truck. It's just one of the most reliable vehicles in the universe. Not that I can actually drive it or anything. Fitz's 64 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, I started this video a couple months ago. I guess I should touch it again. And it's out of gas. Right in the way of everything, of course. My ramp truck project. Still doesn't have a frame, but I'm working on that. Really, I am. Everything's fine. And nobody died. Oh, this seems like a great idea. What could possibly go wrong? So, um, huh. We don't need to talk about these things or anything back here. The garbage can Cuda. Yep, haven't touched it. And the engine's in the demon now. Dale's demon. This demon. I am not Dale. I'm Jamie. This car is awesome. I drive it whenever I can. There's nothing wrong with it. And I'm going to take it back to a drag strip soon. Today on Dead Dodge Garage, we get extremely lucky. <sighs> Pretty sure it um, went through some stuff. So that's cool. Don't worry about this cute little thing. We'll talk about that later. My 1964 power wagon, the greenish monster. Still working on it. The engine's not happy, but it will be eventually. It's kind of a smell to this thing, you know? I've had this thing for almost a month now and I've tried several times to get the damn engine to turn over. This thing's becoming my white whale. Before you know it, it'll be another year and it still won't run. I don't want to talk about this thing. It's only still here for parts. The Volari. It actually ran the other day and moved. Barely. Otherwise, I haven't touched it. And I actually backed into it. But I do have some plans. Wicked plans. The vans. So many vans. Oh, I need to touch these someday. The Daily Driver Barracuda. Haven't touched it. <sighs> kind of stalled on this project. Might work on it more, might sell it. We'll see. I did a video on the gold truck here, finally. It took literally a year, but now this truck does run and move, as you've seen today. But it needs some stuff, kind of a lot of stuff. This is officially getting out of hand. Mitch's Chrysler, need to finish that video. And my wife's wagon, it also needs some love. Oh, I just did a video on this thing and you'd be seeing that today except for, you know, a 10,000 ish subscriber special. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a bed camper, and my truck doesn't seem happy about it. I lost almost all of my keys. I've been in like every car here, so this will be fun. Woo! All right, man, these are sticky tires. It's impressive. Okay, okay. I hear what you're saying. You're saying, Jamie, this doesn't feel very 10,000 plus subscribers specially anymore. It's, I'm getting bored over here. Okay, I have an idea. I've gotten a lot of admittedly well-deserved comments on my various videos driving this car, indicating that I am not doing it correctly. And they're right, you know, I've had a lot of reasons for that. Initially, um, I didn't want to blow up the 340. That's not a factor anymore because we've got this budget-built 360 in here, so 
How about today, I take this rare and unique opportunity to prove to you that I do, in fact, know how to shift a four-speed correctly. It's a beautiful day to break stuff. Someone's been doing donuts here. That's what I should be doing. Some almost 11,000 subscriber special this is. The video that brought a lot of you new subscribers to the channel. A video about how you don't need a bunch of fancy suspension pieces to make your A-body fun to drive. I meant that. <laughs> Battery terminal fell off. Good times. some of that kind of driving where you get home and put the car in the garage you feel like maybe you should just lay low for a while i don't know that there's much more to say really i'm eternally grateful to the nearly 11,000 of you that have subscribed to my channel and that watch my videos you're helping me pay the bills keep the lights on you know and with the care and feeding of these things honestly what you see on the channel is pretty much just my life that's the stuff that I do. And if you weren't here, I'd basically be doing the same thing. But I appreciate that you are. It makes things more fun. You see, I'm not here to impersonate anybody. I've been dragging home broken darts for, man, 16 years now, I guess. And regardless, that's what I'm going to keep doing. Well, what do you like now? Yes? Yay! That's great news. Oh, that's interesting. With that thing put to bed, I guess it's just about time to face the music. You see, one of my favorite things about running this channel is live streaming. I started doing that like nine months ago, I think. Every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And there's a dedicated group in there that's there almost every week, which is really cool. It's something I never expected. Much like the real friends that approach family in some ways that have come from this channel. What a neat thing, you know? That's not what I came here for, but I'm really excited about it. And in one of those live streams, eh, a few months ago, someone said that I should shave my beard when I hit 10,000 subscribers, you know, for a treat. Then I said the hair would have to go too, because it would just be silly to not have a beard and still have this mess. And honestly, I really want to cut it anyway. Uh, I only have long hair because, you know, the world ended in 2020, and I haven't brought myself to clip it at home, you know, in all of that time. But honestly, having super long hair as a mechanic kind of sucks. Even the beard gets stuck in things sometimes. So with all that said, I think it's time to clean up. 
And the only question left in my mind is, how many chins do I have? Because I haven't seen them in like 11 years. <laughs> That's almost better. You are way too excited about this. There. 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 <laughs> well, there's no going back now. Don't stab me with scissors, please. I'm gonna stab you with scissors, please. Why? Ah! <laughs> what are you doing exactly? <laughs> <laughs> you better cut more than that. Nice. <laughs> the tiny hand with the scissors. <laughs> We just need to get all of this off really fast. Are you ready for dad to look like a totally different human? He's about to look like you with your hair. <laughs> I can rock that. You like that with a bob? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a look. So we're just going to leave it like that then? Yes. You can change my name to Karen. I don't want my dad bald. I'm not going to be bald. I'm still going to have hair. Hopefully forever. <laughs> Listen. I'm scooping like the internet told me to. <laughs> Hair. You're saying my hair is too awesome? Yes. I haven't had a haircut since you were three. <laughs> that is a luck. He's got some emo hair now. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I missed out on that part of life. Oh, the itchiness. I would very much like to speak to your manager, if that's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Did you just give me a bald spot? No, it's just not good up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, not this old look. You won't miss my old look? No. I'm getting a makeover today. There's so much hair up there. <laughs> Admire my asymmetrical hairline. That's normal. <laughs> That's part of the experience. Hair trimmer maintenance. <sighs> Liking it so far. Are you getting ready to be the beard killer? Oh, yes, I am. Are you applying some product? I don't know. You're part. <laughs> I know. But I guess the beard's coming off. Ow! You are really good at this. You have a future in cutting beards. Cut my face, okay? <laughs> Hey on Dodge Garage, a seven-year-old cuts my beard off. Okay, Dad. <laughs> oh, that's it? Oh, I like it. Looks great. Watch the throat. <laughs> I own the channel now. Wow. Now what? I have millions and millions and millions and millions of subscribers. I don't have millions. I have 10,996. Okay. My daughter says this is a great look and I should keep it. And then she got sad. We gotta finish what we started. <laughs> now that's a look. I still only have one chin. All right, maybe one and a half. Face looks so much smaller. I already regret this. I could never be a mustache guy. Ugh, my face is cold. I just look like my little brother. How long does it take to grow back? Who's this good looking fella? <laughs> yeah, that part is just aggressive. Can't forget the unibrow, that's a key part of any makeover. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Probably the last time I'll ever see that. Well, my daughter hates it, but the dogs aren't afraid of me, so I got that going. Hopefully that was enjoyable. I don't really know, but it happened. This is the Jamie we get now, then till the beard grows back. So I guess that's it. I do want to take this unique opportunity to thank a few people. Rocket Tom. Mm-hmm. He's done a lot for the channel and is very much appreciated. Uncle Tony, I guess. He's helped out recently. Rooster, Big Wrench Donnie, some of the long haulers, Avon. Stacy, there are a lot of you, I, but I appreciate you. I better mention my sister or she'll get sad. That's all I got. I'll see you at 
A hundred thousand? Thanks for watching. And remember, Mongo only pawn in game of life. Do I look like John Oliver? Fixed.